Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 2 video, and this one here is going to be a breakdown of the latest teaser trailer that shows off a lot of new footage here. There's a lot of news happening right now in The Walking Dead that uh, I'll have to do another video, I guess, tomorrow, breaking down a lot of the a lot of the Season 3 news, because there's actually some casting information and uh, a bunch of stuff regarding Season 3, which is really interesting, because Season 2 hasn't even aired yet, and we're getting a lot of Season 3 information, but that's just sort of the way that they have everything scheduled right now. Now, because the show comes out in the fall, which I do want it to come out in the fall, and because of how long the production takes to actually make these seasons now, I mean, they do want to have a show out every single year, right? So this is just sort of, you know, what, what they got to do, right? It's not as simple as it used to be with The Walking Dead, where you could start filming in May and actually have the episodes out in November. It takes a lot of time to actually produce a lot of the new shows that they have now because of the higher quality, which obviously a lot of us prefer. So yeah, so before any further, definitely make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my Walking Dead content like this, but let's actually get into the trailer here so this trailer specifically really sets up a lot of you know what the story is going to be for specifically carol because the only thing we know is that she's trying to look for daryl and that's basically it and obviously they're not confirming certain things in the trailer but there's a lot of shots here that tell me that she is going to be on her own quite a bit and i i do think she's actually going to have a lot of scenes with madame Jeanne specifically but first she obviously has to find a way to get to france which we'll see in the very very first episode we have a shot here of ash which we've seen this shot before I think this is one of the first shots that we ever saw of Daryl Dixon season two. Uh, we have another shot here of Carol looking around here and sees a, a walker here. I mean, I don't know what the story is going to be here. And that's one of the things I really like about the show is that zombies in general, whenever you see like a zombie corpse, you're always like, well, there, there's some sort of story there, right? Another shot here of Daryl. Uh, we saw this at the very end of the Comic-Con trailer, but it's extended a little bit in the very beginning here. Honestly, when I see this shot, the first thing that comes to mind is that Daryl just lost somebody. So I I don't know if Isabel just died or any of the characters from the nest, but I do think that uh, someone died at this point here and Daryl's just on his own. Maybe he feels guilty or maybe he's just mourning. I'm not sure of how it's all going to go if it does happen, but to me, it looks like Daryl is just like, you know, he's mourning in this moment here and he's just thinking about a bunch of stuff. Either that or he just found out that Rick's actually alive, right? And so maybe he's happy about that and he's just thinking about like back home and everything because it looks like he has a moment here to himself. He's, he's really in his own head. And then Carol shows up here because obviously, like, we know that happens because at the very end of the Comic Con trailer, we saw that, right? And so Carol's probably gonna be like, hey, you all right? And then Daryl will be like, yeah, you know, get up. And then they'll just both leave or whatever. So that's kind of how I see the scene playing out. I feel like he's reacting to a death or he, like, just learned about Rick and he's just, like, wanting to go home. It's gonna be, like, something like that. I don't think it's gonna be a random scene where he's just, like, tired. We have another shot here of Carol. And this is a, a newer shot here where she's talking with Ash, the newer character that will take Carol to Fred. France. And honestly, I don't know where they're going for, for season three. I mean, we all don't. But like in terms of the story, obviously, we know it's Spain. But I just I really wonder about every character because it feels like for season three, it's going to be almost like a complete reset where it's just Daryl and Carol in that season. And every other character we've met from season one and two aren't going to be there. I know that's not going to be the case. Obviously, there will be characters that will be there in season three, but I'm just very curious as to like what's going to happen to certain characters, because it seems like for season two, there's going to be a lot of deaths, like a lot of big character deaths. And I do think Ash is going to be a character death. I mean, obviously, he's not a big character or anything like that you know so it's not going to be that crazy of a moment but you know i i still like i think this season there's going to be a lot of character deaths. I think for a long time now, a lot of us Walking Dead fans have been wanting like more deaths on the show and all that, right? Like even the final season of The Walking Dead, we had a couple character deaths. I mean, Rosita was the big character death in the finale, right? Like I think a lot of people have been wanting these like bigger moments to happen. And I think we're going to get that in season two. There's going to be a lot of characters that, you know, we grew to love in season one and all of that, that I think are going to die here in season two. Another shot here where we see Carol and Ash and two other characters, I don't know who these characters are, but I believe Carol and Ash will find these characters when they're walking through the hills of, I don't know where this is, maybe this is close to France, but they're walking through these hills here and they'll find these two characters, which I believe they'll, you know, uh, lead them to France because I think they'll know the way and everything, right? I will say in terms of the visuals, like just absolutely incredible. This is the stuff that I've always wanted on the show, like traveling through hills like this, like this looks like a shot from like Lord of the Rings, <laughs> literally, like it's kind of insane, but it really does look like a 
shot from Lord of the Rings. And that's what's so exciting about the spinoffs is that we're actually seeing all of these different, you know, locations that's completely brand new to the to the franchise and just the green hills and everything here. You can kind of see the mountain in the back. Like, I do wonder how much is CGI because obviously I'm sure the mountain in the background is probably CGI. Maybe just that one hill that you can kind of see in front here. Like, maybe that's all real. But yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it's just incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. We have another shot here where we do see those two characters uh, with Carol and Ash and I guess that they're obviously leading them to uh, whatever place. I mean, these characters I'm expecting, you know, they probably will die maybe in the first episode or two because I mean, I guess they don't have to. Just because we don't see a character again doesn't mean that they that they have to die, right? Because there's a lot of characters in Daryl Dixon season one in the very first episode or I guess very first two episodes that they didn't die in those episodes, but they were just characters for that story. And that's actually one thing that I like about where The Walking Dead is right now is that it's it's really in a place where there's a lot of people everywhere and yes obviously when you come across somebody it's a little scary because you don't know if they're dangerous or not but it has become much more of a thing that if you're just out there trying to survive or, or whatever like it's normal to come across a lot of people like i think about dead city season one and we saw maggie literally just go to a bar so you know at that point things are a little bit more normal where they're not hiding in communities right like they're actually she has a home at the bricks and she left that home to go to like this bar that was nearby right like it's almost becoming more like real life but obviously there's zombies everywhere and all of that so it seems like things in general in this world are starting to get a little bit better but obviously the variant walkers are going to mess a lot of that up right but yeah very cool shot here of daryl actually escaping the van here i know that daryl and carol are in this van i mean obviously if you just follow any of the footage you know that at this point here they've already reunited i do wonder what happens here though like does daryl just like exit the vehicle like this and basically just take out all the walkers like i could see that happening that'd be a really cool cool scene but we know that there's shots of Daryl and Carol fighting these walkers and they're like outside. I don't think they're they're leaving either. Maybe, but it seems like they're walking towards the van. So it seems like whatever happened at some point, you know, they were forced to actually get into this vehicle here and hide in here. I mean, it would be really interesting if there were burner walkers, right? Like, because the super walkers, obviously, I don't think would be here if they were here. I mean, Daryl and Carol, and I think Ash is in the vehicle as well. They would all be dead, right? So... I think that, you know, if some of these walkers were burners, that would make that really interesting. And maybe that's why Daryl and Carol are like forced to leave. Like, obviously, if there's zombies or sorry, walkers like attacking a vehicle here, eventually they're going to get in. Right. So like there's already sort of a, a timing issue. Right. Like there's some pressure to get out of this situation. But I wonder if because Daryl notices some burners, that's where he's like, all right, we got to go. And that's the thing, too. Like if there's burners around here, like you can't let them touch you. If they touch you, like they're going to burn you. Right. Like that's sort of the whole point of burners is that their skin is like acid. Right. So that's uh, I wonder if that'll be a. a a thing in this scene here but yeah just a very cool scene here and then we have this other shot here which is basically just a close-up of, of the same thing and then we see carol here on a horse and she's riding towards what seems like i mean first of all i thought of negan and the saviors just because of the the headlights here and there's also some lights on top there so that's really interesting it's like they planned all of this like carol is trying to get away but she can't and at this point here she's trapped and so they caught carol at this point here uh, I believe this is Madame Genet's group anyways. I don't think it would be any other group. This has to be Madame Genet's group, but a uh, very cool shot. It's interesting that Carol's on a horse, though. I will say that. Like, I don't know. Maybe she just found the horse or something, and that's how she's getting around France. This seems like an episode two shot, though, I will say. I mean, I don't know. It's so hard for me to even say, like, where everything's going to go. Like, I, I know that... Daryl and Carol are probably going to reunite in episode two. I think Carol will get to France in episode one. But after that, I have no idea where things are going to be going. And this could literally be a part of like episode five and some of the crazier action shots where Carol, you know, gets away and ends up, you know, running into Madame Genet's group here. But just a very cool shot, a completely brand new shot. And yeah, let me know what you guys think is happening here in this scene. But then we have this shot here of Carol. And uh, yeah, obviously, this is probably... Maybe episode one, but probably episode two here. I think she's probably looking for Madame Genet's group, or I guess not looking for her group, but maybe she's seeing all these signs of like, oh, there's this group here, and maybe, you know, this person knows of Daryl. Like, obviously, she's looking for any clue as to where Daryl could be, right? And 
Ash is not here. I will point that out. Ash is actually not really in a lot of the trailers. Or he's in a lot of the trailers, but I mean, like, it's always the same scenes of, like, when they first get to France and, like, some of the stuff beforehand. So that tells me he's probably going to die in episode one or two. And, and because of, like, you know, casting and, like, having to be there to film stuff, I feel like he'll probably die in episode one. Like, maybe he's there for, like, early on in episode two. But I, I just think because of the, the episode title, The Kindness of Strangers, which is the title for episode episode one i think that story is going to end with him dying but now carol's in france kind of thing very cool visual here of carol looking at france and uh i believe that's paris obviously and just being like wow like i am here i'm actually here in france like this is absolutely insane right and is daryl out here like where is he and then we see some cool shots here of daryl at this point here i believe he has his gun on uh madame Genet. an explosion is going to happen behind him and i guess that's how madame Genet gets away because obviously we know she's going to get away a really interesting scene here of madame Madame Genet and Codrone, and it looks like Codrone is being interrogated. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it's in terms of information that he has. Like, I, this might be a little bit later on. This might not be the first scene that we see in episode one of Madame Genet and her storyline. So this is probably going to be something that happens later on. Maybe she wants to know how Daryl and everyone knew that Madame Genet was like traveling through a certain location because obviously we saw in a lot of the footage, a lot of the sneak peeks and all that, the trailers, that Madame Genet gets attacked at some point while she's traveling. And so maybe she's like, how did they know we were going through there? And maybe that's when she interrogates Cadrone. But it's going to be absolutely insane this season, I think, for Cadrone because I think, I really think he's going to be turned into a super walker. I just really feel like that's where the story is going because he would be a really cool, like really terrifying super walker. And I just think that it makes sense that his story is being set up for that and it's probably going to be like you know a big like episode five or like finale scene right we have this shot here of carol which is a shot that seems to happen a little bit later after she's like killing walkers because we've seen some similar scenes to this where she's killing walkers here she looks like you know she's happy but she's also crying like she's really emotional so i don't know if there was some sort of breakthrough that you know she just recently had but it's uh it's a really interesting scene I, obviously we know daryl's gonna be here because we've seen some shots of Daryl also killing like glow in the dark walkers that I'm calling them right now anyways we don't know what kind of walkers they are but yeah just a really cool shot of Carol here I wonder if Daryl actually is in this scene we'll have to wait and see and then um yeah the very last shot here which is a, a scene that we've already gotten before uh but just uh yeah of Daryl and the Walking Dead Daryl Dixon season two premieres in just like what 27 days as of now so I am just so so excited I I'm, I'm excited for all the new footage that we're getting here and I just can't wait for that that new trailer because they're going to release a new trailer at some point here i'm just really waiting for that and also obviously i can't wait for the premiere of the show because i just want to watch something walking dead and we've been waiting way too long for walking dead content like the last time that we watched anything new was the ones who live and that was in march so yeah a very long time ago right like definitely the longest wait we've had for a walking dead show in a very long time so yeah post all your thoughts down below hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one